Here at Bletchley Park, a team has rebuilt Colossus, the world's first programmable digital computer. It was developed to decode messages between top-level German commanders during World War II. In 2007, this functioning replica was unveiled and is about 90% identical to the original. We started in this room in 1994 with a heap of steel on the floor, pot of grey paint, an electric drill, taken us 15 years to get here because we've done it from eight black and white photographs taken in 1945 and ten fragments of circuit diagram. The machine intercepts radio messages encrypted using the German Lorenz machine. Transcripts are punched onto paper tape and then fed into Colossus at about 30 miles per hour, feeding 5,000 characters per second to the machine. That's the data going into Colossus. And then Colossus is using all its switch programs in order to work out the wheel settings to which the German operator turned the 12 wheels of the Lorentz machine before enciphering that message. Because you have to find those settings before you can decipher the message. Just like an original Colossus, the replica can take up to six hours to decode a message. Thousands of vacuum tubes convert the message into electronic signals and perform calculations. The Lorentz would operate the switches on Colossus and look at the outputs, in particular watching for the outputs to come on the typewriter because that's where the final outputs would come out, which they could then take to the Tunney machine, which is the machine which then deciphered the messages. These breakthroughs in code breaking were kept secret until the 1970s. But now visitors to the museum can witness the remarkable speed of this early computer. It's been a very difficult job piecing it all together. This is now a working machine, and I have used it to break a real cipher text exactly as it was done in World War II.